Hello YouTubers and welcome to Free Pokemon and welcome back to Pokemon Shield Grass Type Only Run in the last episode. We battled Marnie, we battled her brother Piers who got the 7th Gym Badge, the Dark Badge. In this episode, we're heading to the final gym, Raihan, the Dragon Gym Leader. Okay, so we can fly there, at least I think you can, I've never really bothered. I just go this way because, well, there's a bit to this, and we still got one trainer actually in our way. And no, it's not Hop. Oh! This is mad, do you know what I mean? Where's Leon? That's what I'd like to know. That noise, it's like some massive explosion. There was a huge surge of red light, and then wild Pokemon just started Dynamax around me. Bizarre, bizarre as you like. Take a look at the news. See that? See? There's Lee. He's really the greatest, right? Lee and his Charizard took down that Dynamax in a blink of an eye. Well, it makes sense. That was a Steel type versus a Fire type. I knew Lee was strong, but this really makes you appreciate how great he is, huh? Let's go meet up with him, Hope. He should be at Hammerlock Stadium. By the way, out of all challenges I've got left in this playthrough, Leon is the hardest in my opinion. I have a little bit of a strategy, but I don't know how well it'll work. Hello, last trainer. I acknowledge your strength. Please indulge me in a concert of strength and wits. How about I just beat you? <laughs> I'm pretty sure this guy is pretty weak, to be honest. Dual blade. Oh no, he's uh, kind of high. That's fine. Darkest Lariat! Still awkward! But Dual Blade is actually pretty good physical defense wise. <coughs> and again! By the way, I hope you guys are used to double battles because that's pretty much the rest of this episode. Rose level 48. Passimian. Pure fighting type. Let's go for drum beating. One more and Passimian is down. Assuming it doesn't beat itself first. My dogs are barking. I don't know why, but it's a pain in the booty. And he trips over his own coconut. At least I think that's a coconut. Poltor guys. No, Polti guys. Ugh. It's a play on word on Polter guys and T. He's a very weird one, but pretty frail. And that should be the end of that. Ba ba da doom ba ba boom. I think here, yep, you can go down here. Now, if you're collecting EV training berries through the trees, this is one of the trees that can give you the effort value berries. Only certain trees can, and this is one of them. Hondo berry, that's a HP EV berry. A Qualop Berry, another EV Training Berry. Kelpsy Berry, Naponga Berry, more EV Berries. Qualop, Hondu, Grappa. Yeah, this one pretty much gives you nothing but EV Berries. Well, EV Decreasing Berries, but they can help you EV Train still. Now then. Oh, by the way, I guess I never did show you this. If you want to check out your EVs... Uh, go to Stats, press, uh, press X, and you'll see this. The, uh, whoa. The lighter yellow is the EVs. You got more in special attack, very nice. Wow, they really don't have that much. Now I look at them. 
Ugh, if only I actually could have gotten the Pokerus, that could have really helped them out. Well, I think I know what that means then. I might take advantage of that opening and do a little bit of EV training before battling Lee. That might sound a little bit cheap, but I'm not going to go like all out to max them out or anything. I'm just going to do a like with Whimsicott. I'm going to do like a little bit of speed, special attack, Rose, speed, special attack, uh, just a little, just to get them a little bit more of a boost. I think that might help me out a bit. Uh, you know what? Gotta heal. Alright, healed up, and I've switched Ferrothorn and Lunicolo to the lead. Now then, we're gonna head our way down here. And we should see the whole gang. Over here! Well, if it isn't hope, I'd expect nothing less for you and your Charizard, Leon. You took out that Dynamax Pokemon in no time at all. Well, I am the unbeatable champion after all. But what's going on? Well, what's all going on here? An overflowing red light. Pokemon Dynamaxing without a power spot. Yeah, but why? I'm not sure what's going on, but the red light could suddenly appear again at any time. We have no way of knowing. But being able to predict such things is a part of a scientist's work. Bran? The chairman called me. He wanted to know about the red light's relationship to Dynamax phenomenons. Did the chairman know anything? Nothing worth of my time. The chairman's all wrapped up fretting over the future of our energy, apparently. He's left everything to that executive lady. We just don't have enough data. That's why I wanted to ask you to start looking into things, Sonia. You know more about the dynamo about the darkest day, after all. Are you saying the red light and the darkest day are connected? Hey, you reckon there's anything we can do to help out? There must be! Thanks, I appreciate the thought, but all I could ever ask for you would be to join me in the greatest final match ever. I'll do my part to make that happen by keeping everybody's future safe. So you just keep doing your part by winning your way to the gym challenge. Right, of course, you're the unbeatable champion after all, eh? Grand, there's something I want, you, I want to look into. You'll help me, right? Naturally. Looks like you all know what you need to do, so now you two clear the gym challenge so we can meet again at the Champion's Cup. I know what I need to do, alright. Defeat Pierce once and for all. You're off to Hamlock Stadium, yeah? Hope Raihan's a tough nut to crack. Okie dokie. <laughs> well, here we go. <coughs> the long gym challenge is nearing its end, I see. Are you ready to face Hammerlock's gym and the leader, the dragon user Raihan? I am. In that case, please change into the change. Well, uh, please use the changing room to change your uniform. Away! That uniform is, is your. Uh, you wear it as a symbol of all of your victories. I feel your determination. Now head to where all gym challenges wait. Nope, not the stadium, but the vaults. Say so, what? <coughs> Let's see how many gym challenges are left, huh? Not even ten, huh? Alright then. Hope, it's time to explain the greatest Raihan's gym mission. The rules are simple. All you gotta do is defeat three trainers that I personally trained in double battles. The gym challenge is meant to be, well, challenging, wouldn't you say? Naturally, there aren't too many gym challenges who can make it this far. That's why I provide a format where you can really show off the brilliant, the brilliant combinations of you and your Pokemon should be capable of. Probably more than enough out of me, time to somebody else to take the spotlight. Come on, Sebastian, you'll be first.
Yeah, that's me, Sebastian. Leader Raihan has taught me two things. First, that dragon types are ferociously powerful. Second, I need to create an advantage on the battlefield to fully utilize that power. Yeah, these three trainers we're going to battle actually battle with a certain weather condition in mind. This guy, I do believe, yep, is the rain one, which is why I picked these two. These two have the best advantage with the rain. Pelipper sets up Drizzle. And Sligu, I do believe, has the hydration ability. I think. I might be wrong there. Okay, I'm going to Seed Bomb Pelipper and Ice Beam Sligu. I should be faster, thanks to my Swift Swim. Sligu, ooh, barely survives that. Critical hit. Pelipper goes for Tailwind. I'm going to be utilizing that move near the end of this. <laughs> that only tickled. Bob's away! Hmm, that did just about half. Okay, I'm going to Seed Bomb Sligu now. And Energy Ball Pelipper. Yep, that finished that off. Brr. I have fallen level 49 and wants to learn Gyro Ball. Oh, that could be good with the combination of Curse. Nah, that's something I gotta think about. Fluffy level 48. Uses Dragon Pulse again. Ooh, that was a crit. Now with that, this trainer is done. I can see why you managed to make it this far. Time to face the second trainer. Come on, Kalina. I can't say. Or is that Camila? Whatever. Luckily, you don't have to battle instantly, so you got an opportunity to heal up between the battles. Now, if memory serves you right, this trainer is the one that relates, that works on the sun. So, I don't really have a Pokemon that can work too well for this one. I do remember what she uses. I think Lunicolo might still be good. I'll go Lunicolo and Rillaboom. It's a shame I... You know, I don't even use Mist anymore. So, so, I think it's time we get rid of Mist. Okay, it's that time. I'm probably about to pause in a sec, but we're going to get rid of Mist and teach Ra Lunicolo Rain Dance. I mean, we've never used Mist. Rain dance top. Alright, I'll see you guys in a sec. Once the vacuuming is done, so my dog will shut up. Alright, we're back. Lunicolo and Rillaboom. These two should do for this battle. In double battles, it's important to figure out which role each, each of your opponent's Pokemon play. Mine is to just basically to kick you and blast you. Nine Tails and Turtonator. Turtonator's a fire dragon type. Nine Tails has Drought. I'm not too concerned about that. At least I hope not. So we're gonna set Rain Dance and we're gonna use high horsepower on Nine Tails. Yeah, I was gonna <laughs> that's one reason why I hate attacking you. Sweet. Was that my plan? Oh, critical hit! Was that my strategy worked? Double 48. Let's get rid of that sun. You're the only one who can set up weather. Okay then, so now we're gonna scold Terminator. 
And I think I'm going to switch to a special attacker. Let's go to Rose. At that point there, I'd rather no physical attacks on Terminator, but that's sole reason alone. Close, but not there yet. We'll just use another scold, and it doesn't matter because, uh, about what else, because thanks to Rain Dance, Lunicolo will go first. Ooh. She's down. Fantastic! I can see those seven badges you have were well earned. <coughs> you made it to the third and last trainer. Your moment to shine, Arya. Now, she uses the power of Hail. I don't think I have a counter to Hail. Therathorn will do pretty well, and who knows, maybe so could Delmise. We'll see, because, well, steel against ice. But this is literally my best choice. Who knows, maybe Fluffy might be better than Delmise, but we'll see. I think, I think this should do. A double battle? Do you combine strength of two Pokemon to push through, or do you just have one of them support the other? Let's see what your strategy is. My strategy is to wing it with steel at the moment. <laughs> Read on, Arya. A bomb of snow and... I can never say that Pokemon's name right. That one's the most confusing because I don't think it... Uh, I don't think it really benefits from hail at all. It's just a dragon. Which is the weirdest choice to me, but whatever. I'm gonna Iron Head. And we're going to... hmm... I guess I'm just going to Rock Slide. I do know the Dragon Pokemon is also part fighting as well as a dragon. So... Aurora Veil. Th that's annoying. Luckily, it means too much for Obama Snow. And now I can just double attack uh, the last Pokemon and end this battle. Metal Sound. Nope. Oh, it didn't get hurt by Hail. I guess it must have an ability that protects it from Hail. Oh well. Uh, I'm just gonna go for Gyro Ball. Rip Break. Iron Barbs. You're as good as defeated. They actually survived this turn. In some sense, I'm not surprised. Just go once again for Iron Head and Gyro Ball. <coughs> Ooh. But you're done. <laughs> Cooperation between trainers and the Pokemon just brings out their strength even more. Well done. I'm honored to have had a battle against such a talented trainer. Nice one, hope you completed the gym mission. Come on, time to head to the gym stadium and earn yourself the right to face me yourself. Now, Raihan. He may be a dragon trainer, but he only has two dragon types, believe it or not. And he mainly starts off with ground Pokemon. In fact, almost all his Pokemon are ground types, so Lunicolo is solid for the start. Uh, let me think, Lunicolo... And I think Rose. These two should be the best options to start this off. Things go well, I should wipe out both of them in one blow. Well, actually, maybe, maybe not. Because I think his one Pokemon has Sturdy. We'll see. 
Okay, everybody's fully healed. I think we're ready to roll. I'm actually half tempted to Dynamax right from the get-go. Finally, a challenger made it. I've been waiting for someone to battle. Though, I gotta admit, I didn't think it'd be you. But I guess I should have expected no less from the Pokemon trainer that Leon saw promising. And you aim to defeat Leon? Do you have any idea just how high of a hurdle that is? This is I'm his as his greatest rival, I guess that I, Raihan, will have to show you. The gym leader Raihan doesn't just simply control the weather, he also knows he also seeks two on two battles. You must prepare for any situation against a foe like him. Yep, he's a double battle gym leader. Raihan, Gigalith, and Flygon. Lunicolo for Flygon, and Rose for Gigalith. Gigalith has Sandstream. Okay, so I should be able to wipe them out in one turn each. In fact, I I think I have an idea on how to do this, so we're going to Ice Beam Flygon and Energy Ball that Gigalith. Of course Flygon goes first, because it's got a base speed of 100. Fastest one on the field. Luckily I don't give a damn about that physical attack drop. Means nothing to me! Ooh, Gigalith survived that! I didn't think it would. That's full time super effective. But Flygon's down. Okay. Uses Stealth Rock. I'm not that concerned about Stealth Rock. Now his next Pokemon's a little bit of a pain that I think I want to get rid of first actually before Gigalith. Yep, Sanaconda. Sanaconda has an ability that whenever it's hit, it sets up a Sand Stream. So I kind of want to get rid of that first. Well, kind of. Uh, I'm going to... Yeah, I'm getting rid of Sanaconda. That thing's got to go. It's the most dangerous thing on the field right now, so I'm actually going to double attack it. Ooh, okay. Double attack wasn't completely necessary, but that's fine. Lunicolo level 49 and Therathorn level 50. Both down. Only his last Pokemon left. It might be impossible to pull off a combo going solo, but it's not impossible. Duraludon, a Steel Dragon type. I don't have much way to deal with it, but I'm gonna Dynamax and go for a Max Geyser to get rid of this Sandstorm. And I'm gonna use Dazzling Gleam because it's neutral. Bring the storm! Luckily, Duraludon is super slow, so I think my Pokemon are going first. At least I think. He did Dynamax, well, Gigantamax first. It's a Skyscraper! Oh yeah, I gotta use Dynamax candies on Delmise. And I'm fa- well, Rose is faster. And between those two, him. Yeah, I wasn't too worried about a physical attack. Duraludon's not much of a physical attacker, it's more of a special attacker. Let's get rid of this sandstorm. Max Geyser! Steel types get a special defense buff in uh, in Sandstorm, same as Rock and Ground types. 
Even though I'm now about to use Max, uh, <laughs> Max, uh, I saw Max Hail, Max Hail Storm to set up a hail, but oh well. This battle's over. Well, my plan worked to perfection. Why Han? Beaten. I might have lost, but I still look good. Maybe I should snap a quick selfie. God damn it. In the aftermath of the fierce battle, I feel pure and refreshed as when the sky clears for after a storm. What can I possibly say? Calling myself Leon's rival seems quite... Uh, I've grown quite... Blah blah blah. I've already lost the words. So, we're done here. Man, he's big! And there we go. Can now catch Pokemon of any level. Now win your way through the semi-finals, the final and the finals for your chance to challenge Leon. You must. You owe that much at least for beating us in the battle here today. You've collected all gym badges. At last the time for the Champion Cup. I look forward to seeing how you all do in a battle. Hey Hope! Sorry for the hold up there, but I still think I forgot. First off, sign of my respect, here's TM99. Breaking sweep. And we also get the dragon uniform. Raihan, I'm here to just see how good you are. There you are, Leon's little brother. Don't worry, I'll give you a battle that'll make you want to quit the gym challenge altogether. I've tried out lots of different strategies and I've made up my mind on how I, how I want to battle. I'm not going to lose. I'm going to beat you, Hope, and even Lee. I'll be seeing you, Hope. Let's have another epic battle someday. If you're feeling up for it, I might just want to go and train hard in the wild area. There. Alright then, let's leave this place. Oh, hey there, Hope. You gave Ryan a good thrashing, and that means you've completed the gym challenge. Congratulations from bottom of my heart. I really wish we could go and celebrate, but I think there's something we should talk over. That light that covered Hammerlock, it was just at the darkest day where it said that the giant Pokemon went on a rampage and almost destroyed the entire Galar region. It certainly seems to be that way, my dear. As you know, we Dynamax our Pokemon today with using the energy from the Wishing Stars that has fallen to us. But we still don't know how to fully control the energy behind Dynamaxing or how the two heroes managed to do so. In fact, we're not even really sure who or what the two heroes actually were. The Legendary Sword and Shield. Sonia, my dearest, my lab coat is now yours. Are you sure, Gran? I still haven't finished the work you've assigned me. Think of it as something to help you finish that work. Professor Sonia! Yeah. The two heroes that protected Gala Region from the darkest day, and the legend of the sword and shield that you just mentioned, it's up to you to figure out the truth behind it all. I know, Gran. I'll do what I can. I, you and Hop should the ones to take down Lee. I don't want to miss that. Not to worry, you can count on me to take care of everything. You just focus on getting to Windon. Go on, head to the station or you'll miss your train. Yep, we're gonna do that. Wait, where's the train again? Oh, right, it's this way. <laughs> I actually brain farted. I guess we're heading our way forward. Yay! Thanks, everyone! 
Wait up, Hope! I'm coming too! I had Raihan beat in no time! Once I had my head on straight and stopped down in every decision I made, that was... that is... heh. You never stop nattering on through the entire battle! You're pretty different from the champion in that. But your strength is genuine as proven by the dragon badge you won from me. You came at me with all the force of a raging storm and even I was blown away. Listen up you two. You battled your way through the Champion Cup tournament to face Leon, one of you or two. I reckon I'm still the favourite to win but I'm up against my true rival Hope. I'm still wearing out every last thing I learned during my battle with you Raihan, I to beat her. So let's get moving Hope, the train is waiting. And train time. I haven't had this in a while. Makes you wonder what they're actually looking at on their phones. Oh wait, oh, but it actually tells you. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. I actually never put that together. Yet yeah, that's our next destination. You get it, right? You and me are going to make our match the greatest match that ever was. And here we are. <coughs> we are now on Route 10. So, this is Route 10. It's all well, all like a wa wall made out of snow. I bet there'll be ice-type Pokemon crawling out of the woodworks in this place. Come on, Hope. I reckon we'll be able to train ourselves up to a new heights here before the Champion Cup starts. I believe in myself and the Pokemon on my team, and I know that we'll get loads stronger. So, I'm off. See you in Winsome, mate. Yep, and that's where I'm going to end off the episode, guys. So, hope you've all enjoyed. In the next episode, we're going to tackle Route 10 and work our way to Winston. I think due to the area we're in, not very many of our Pokemon are going to be that useful. Uh, well, we'll just see how things roll. So, hope you've all enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye! I'm just going to sit. No spins.